Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix when your second monitor is not detected in Windows 10 by 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problem, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and just don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check the physical connection Like, check whether both ends of the wires connecting your external display to your computer are tightly plugged in. Number 2. Use the correct input source Many monitors have multiple input sources, for example HDMI, DisplayPort and VGA. Number 3. Restart your computer This issue, second monitor not being detected, can often be triggered by a temporary or random defect in Windows 10 or 11. This problem can simply be resolved by restarting your computer. Number 4. Detect the monitor manually. For this, go to the settings app and from there, open the system tab. After this, click the display page on the right hand side. Then scroll down to the multiple display section and click the detect button in front of detect other display. After this, window will automatically attempt to detect the connected external monitor. Number 5. Connect an external wireless display. For this, again navigate to the settings menu and from there just select Bluetooth and devices option. And from there, turn on the Bluetooth toggle switch if it's present and after that select the add device option. Then select the wireless display or docking station option. And check that the wireless display is turned on and discoverable. And choose the display from the selection. After that, just follow the on-screen instructions. Number 6. Change your project mode. For this, on your keyboard, press the Windows key plus P. Then from there, select duplicate if you want the same screen to appear on both displays. If you wish to earn more money at work, choose extend. Number 7. Upgrade your graphic drivers. For this, press the window key plus R to open the run box. Then in the run box, type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open device manager. After this, in a device manager window, just expand the display adapter section. It will list all the graphic drivers installed on a computer. Then do the following for all of the drivers. Like, right click on display driver and choose install driver. But make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option in the pop-up if it shows up. Then go to top menu in device manager and under the actions tab just select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, don't worry. Just simply restart the PC and it will appear back. After this, again right click on display driver and this update driver. But this time select search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for available driver updates and then download them. After this, just simply restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then from there, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then just simply select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is the pre-selected top option in the list and click next. After this, just again restart your PC to apply the change. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to your laptop or graphic card manufacturer's official website and downloading the latest driver for a specific model from there. And then simply install the drivers and restart your PC to apply the changes. Number 8. Run system files check. For this, open start. Search for command prompt. Right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. Then from there, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. The DISM and SFC commands are used for scanning your PC and automatically installing broken or missing window files on your PC. Number 9. Adjust display settings. For this, press the window key plus I to open the window settings. Then under system settings, select the display tab and scroll down and just simply select the advanced display option. Then select the display for which you wish to adjust the frequency from the select the display to view or edit its setting page. Finally, from the choose a refresh rate option, pick a refresh rate that is supported by both screens. Number 10. Roll back the graphic card drivers. For this, press the window key plus X to open the device manager. Then from there, expand the display adapters category to see the graphic card installed on the computer. After this, right click on graphic card for which you want to roll back the driver and select properties option. Then in the properties window, navigate to the driver tab. And from there, click on the roll back driver button. If the option is grayed out, it means that there is no previous driver version available to roll back to. 
Then after that, a prompt will appear asking you to confirm the driver rollback. Choose the appropriate option to proceed. Note, window will revert to the previous version of graphic card driver and after that just simply follow the on-screen instructions. After the rollback is complete, just simply restart the computer. Number 11. Check for Windows Update For this, open Settings by pressing Windows plus I key. Then from there, choose Windows Update. And just simply click on Check for Updates. Windows will automatically search for available driver updates and we download them. Number 12. Try a different monitor or computer If any solutions given above is not working on the second monitor not detected, if possible, connect the external monitor to a different computer or try using a different monitor with a computer.